Hi you, welcome to Life Eats Family. Today we will be reacting to World's Most Expensive and Biggest House. We are Life Eats Family. I'm Dan. I'm Emma. I'm Amanda Savage. I'm Sunshine. I'm Erin. If you want to join our family, then make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. Here we go. Spilling the secrets of Mukesh Ambani's abode Antilia. Living in the most expensive of areas, oh. a never ending mansion complete with all the amenities you can dream of. Is that in the house? Surrounded by yes. staff running to cater to each of our whim. Wake up. The bubble of your impeccable <laughs> imagination just burst. Welcome back to the reality. Oh. That's not your he home. He is not having but a great such morning. such a place actually exists. <laughs> Don't believe us? Allow us to guide you I don't think I could brush my teeth with toothpaste that was the on the mirror. No. Oh, I mean, wow. You had to clean it every yeah. single day for Number me to be 10. like, okay, I'll Yeah, to be okay home. with it. Mukesh Ambani's family initially shared a house with Mukesh's mother and brother's family and only moved out after the construction of Antilia was complete. But that's not the catch here. You wouldn't expect the richest man of the nation to own just a single house. That's not how the rich function, right? But Mukesh Ambani stands apart from the crowd of the rich because he owns just one house, and with all that he has, he doesn't even need another one. I believe Number it. Blank, distinct designing. The woman of the house, Nita Ambani, had planned a 27-story luxury haven with each of the floors designed distinctly. Australian company Leighton Holdings made that dream come true. Not surprising, after all, if the dreams of the riches don't come true, whose else will? So all the floors have a unique design keeping sun and lotus motifs the highlight of the mansion, and this variety was brought about using materials like mother of pearl, crystal, marble, wood, and other expensive materials. Wow. That house is surely a piece of art. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's Number a good eight, word for it. extra height. It is a piece of art. This mansion is giving us residential goals already, but wait till you know about the heights. Each floor of the mansion is equal to the height of a two-story building. Did you get the hint? The mansion what? could actually hold close to 60 floors with its current height. Could we say that the Ambani's have some high standards? Like, really high. <laughs> Number 7. Comfort what? traveling. <laughs> the dream home oozes luxury in every respect. That and traveling is a nice across car. the city, or for that matter, the world comes easy to the dwellers. The mansion has dedicated six floors to car parking, which can accommodate 168 cars at a time, and a whole floor is turned into a car servicing station. Wow. He has all the space for this lavish hobby in his 400,000 square foot palace. What's more, the house has three helipads in case you want to escape Mumbai's traffic and consider air travel more comfy. Oh my gosh, Number that's three, amazing. affluent neighborhood. Before the construction of this magnificent home began, Rumors of it to be built in Mumbai slums were doing the rounds. That would have depicted the striking contrast in the two extreme Indian scenarios. But well, these rumors came to an end once the construction began at Altamount Road of Mumbai, the place where the richest of the richest have their dwellings. Should we say location matters? Number 5. Luxury Amenities This extravagant dwelling of the Ambani family can easily put leading luxury hotels to shame. What? Don't be shocked. It is perfectly normal for a rich Indian to have multiple swimming pools, a gym, and jacuzzi in his home. Wow. But when you talk about the richest health spas, salon, separate yoga and dance studios, in addition to a 50-seat home theater, make it to the list that theater looks 50, amazing. Not very 50 shocking, seat? is it? Oh Number four, wow. the extra step. The Ambonis took their luxury requirements a notch higher when they planned for a ballroom in the mansion. Wow. Which man cannot survive without a ballroom in his dwelling that has its roof covered with 80% crystal chandeliers. Amazing. Then there is a snow room, which is a must to beat the <gasps> Mumbai heat. So the owners and guests can step into this room that will sprinkle man-made snowflakes. Oh my and give gosh. You the feeling of being cool and filthy rich. I've never heard of such a thing. In your house. Unbeatable hospitality. You can't expect the most marvelous of the households to lack in hospitality, do you? The guests are well looked after, and that kind of goes without saying, so why did we even point it out? The mansion houses an entourage room that caters to the relaxation of the bodyguards and assistants of the big daddies that come to visit the Ambani's. That's very thoughtful. Number two, energy efficiency. The Ambani house might be a skyscraper, but it still hosts a garden. And it's not just any ordinary garden, mind you. It's really pretty. <laughs> the hanging garden at the floor, where huge W-shaped beams support the upper floors, has the main purpose of energy conservation. The plants absorb sunlight, 
and in turn keep the interiors cool. Are this plants? Mm -hmm. While it totally makes sense, That's cool. keeping in mind the fact that after the family Ooh. moved into their new home, the first electricity mm. bill that they paid was more than 70 locks. Number one. Sounds like a lot. The best of both worlds. This elite residence was designed by an Australian company and thus has the amenities and an international style. Hmm. But it also kept the feelings of the family in mind and has not lost its Indian appeal. As per Nita Ambani, Antilia is just the right blend of a modern home with Indian aesthetics. And going as per the design, she's not wrong. So could we just say that the extravagant mansion provides the best of both worlds to the family of five? Which feature of the multi-story house while you There's a health center, Tell us guest apartment. Subscribe to our channel. I don't think you, have to, don't think you have to leave. You could just like buy yeah. things online. Yeah, that's what they're saying. They don't need like multiple yeah. houses because they have that. Yeah. Everything they could possibly need in that one oh house. That's amazing. And a bunch of cars. Like, what was your favorite part of that cool house? <sighs> my favorite was probably number four, the ice. The ice, ice room. room. Oh my gosh. Would I you would like, like snow? Yes. On you in your house. Yes. Be kind of cool. Amazing. Right. Because I don't have that in my house. Of course. No. Like, what do you think, I don't man? know what number it was, but the cars. Six floors. Six of floors cars. of cars. Yes. I, I think that was cars. number six. Yeah. I don't know. Might have been number six. Mine was probably, I think it was number nine, where it it, <laughs> it said that there were 27 stories in total. Like, that's a ton. Yeah, that's a ton. That's a, like, way. Yes. Like, that's a ton. Just a lot. So, general. my favorite was Big Man's also, but also the fact that they did all of their own like maintenance there. Like they have a whole entire floor. Yeah. Um, that's just there for the car maintenance. I like that. That is really smart. Yep. So you literally don't have to go anywhere. And, and that was my favorite was, you know, the salon, the yoga studio, the movie theater. They even had a room for the bodyguards to relax in when people are visiting. I think that is brilliant. Those are amenities that make your house the best place to be. They even have ballrooms, so they don't even have to go somewhere to have a party. Anything they could possibly want to do could happen in their house. Uh, I'm so amazed. It's yes. so, so cool. We would love to know what your favorite part of this video was, but YouTube has turned off our comments. So we invite you to go to our community page and find this thumbnail there to leave us all, our, all of your thoughts. We are Life Meets Family. We post videos on YouTube every day. If you'd like to join the family, just hit that subscribe button and we will see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Make sure you do your daily dab, dab ting, tong. Three, two, one, go. I'm scared for not excited about having people watch me. So who won the challenge? Me. 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 <laughs>